Today we're talking about water and how important it is to life and the characteristics of water that make it so valuable. So if we go to our first slide. The first slide is titled, Why is water's polarity so important? Let's first talk about what polarity is. If you see this water molecule here on the page, let me just grab a marker and I can write on this. Grab a different color. We'll use um, blue. So you can see on this water molecule here that this is going to be the oxygen side and this is the hydrogen side. It has sides. Just like the Earth has sides. Well, sort of. It has poles. So it's polar. We have a North Pole and a South Pole. This molecule here has sides. It has a negative side and a positive side. The hydrogen sides are the positive side, and the oxygen side is the negative side. So this is very important to keep in mind. Let me get rid of this and go to the next page. So the positive side of a water molecule is attracted to the negative side of another molecule. You can see in this diagram here that this is the positive hydrogen side and over here we have the negative oxygen side. And the same is true here, the positive hydrogen side and the negative oxygen side. Well this makes it so that there is an attractive force between the two molecules because like a magnet, the, the positive side is attracted to the negative side. So therefore water molecules are attracted to each other. They want to be near each other like two magnets, or a positive side of a magnet to a negative side of a magnet. Now this attractive force is called a hydrogen bond. It's not really a bond, it's more of a weak attractive force, but we call it a hydrogen bond, and it's very important to all of the concepts that we're talking about. This hydrogen bond between water molecules allows for something called surface tension, which is a thin layer at the surface of water. You can see this just like we did as an activity in class, we put water drops on the back of a penny. But the water was attracted to itself because of these hydrogen bonds, and so even though it looks like it should be pouring over the side because water wants to be near water, it stays there. This surface tension, or this film, is what the water strider is, is resting on. This is why it doesn't sink. We'll talk more about this in the future. So there are four reasons that water is so important to life. Because one, ice floats. Two, it's a universal solvent. Three, it aids in metabolism. And four, it has a high heat capacity. So let's talk about ice floating. Most substances become denser when they become a solid. And this should make a lot of sense because when a, when a substance is a gas, it moves around more, it takes up more space, therefore it would be more uh, or it would be less dense than it would be in a liquid state. And then as the molecules continue to slow down, they can become they can be closer to one another. And so when they're a solid, it makes sense that it would be more dense. However, this is not true for water, and it's counterintuitive. Ice is actually a mineral, and so it crystallizes. It takes on a different shape. What happens is these, because of this polar nature, water is going to take on a hexagonal shape, or like a honeycomb shape. And so this crystal form makes the water molecules further apart when they're solid than when they're liquid. And therefore, because solid water is less dense, it floats on top of liquid water. This is why when you have a glass with ice in it, it tends to stay at the top. So why does ice floating matter? Well, life started in the oceans, or life started in water. And if every time the earth cooled, ice sank, it would have destroyed life starting. And so it's really important that ice floats because not only did it allow for life to start, but it actually insulated the oceans. And so if ice sank, it would have frozen and destroyed early organisms. The second reason we said that water is important is because it's a universal solvent. Before we talk about the universal solvent, let's talk about what is a solvent. I'm sure you guys remember that a solute and a solvent make a solution. So if we had a salt water solution, 
the solute would be the salt, the solvent would be the water, and the solution would be the salt dissolved in the water. This is important for us, humans, or animals, or organisms, because molecules like nutrients and vitamins dissolve in water and flow through our body. We need water to break it down into its smallest pieces and move it throughout our body. So how does it do this? Why is it a universal solvent? Well, water's positive side and negative side, here, I'll play a video for you. Water's positive side and negative side pull molecules apart. The pulling apart of this molecule is called dissolving. And to dissolve means to break molecules down into their most basic units. And in this video, we are going to see that Mr. Anderson is going to drop salt molecules into the water. And you'll see how the positive hydrogen sides are going to be attracted to the negative chlorine sides of the salt. And the negative oxygen sides are going to be attracted to the positive sodium molecules. And therefore, it's going to break this apart. It's going to break it down into its smallest pieces because it has two sides, because it has a positive side and it has a negative side. And this is true for a lot of ionically bonded substances. Water will tend to break down ionically bonded substances. Very important that you know that we are covalently bonded so that if we were to drink a glass of water, we're not going to dissolve because water doesn't dissolve covalently bonded substances. And that's lucky for us. So why is the universal solvent important for your metabolism? Well, water facilitates all of the chemical reactions that break down or build up molecules in your body. In all of the chemical reactions in your body, this is your metabolism. We break nutrients down. We break, out, we break down molecules like carbohydrates and proteins and lipids to build them up into more and different carbohydrates, proteins, and lipids. All of these chemical reactions in your body are your metabolism, and this is all facilitated by water. So here's the last reason that uh, water is important, because it has a high heat capacity. And this is once again due to its polar nature. We said that water is attracted to water, just like it was on the penny. It held the water from falling off the side. And so if you were to have a glass of water here, you could see how the attractive forces are going to keep the water molecules from evaporating because they want to be close to each other. Therefore, it takes more energy to make water evaporate or to move it away from it. This allows water to hold a lot of heat. And this is very important to us because we are made of a lot of water and therefore we can hang on to our heat. And this allows us to maintain homeostasis or to resist changes in temperature. If we were to go outside on a cold day, we don't all of a sudden drop or our body temperature doesn't drop because we hang on to our heat. And that's good because it allows us to maintain homeostasis. So those are the four reasons that water is important to life on Earth. And something to keep in mind is that the polarity of water is important to all four of these reasons. I will see you in class.